Wisconsin and Penn State open weekend series tonight. Head coach Tony Granado joins us. Tony, Penn State's in first place in the Big Ten, and they play like they normally play. How do you find a way to contain this crew? We have to sustain some offensive zone time. The fourth check. Holtz gets there first for Penn State. Bad outlet, though. Pick off. Here's Morlicki back, and he scores! Mike Morlicki! First career goal. Josh S. down the middle. He shoots one. He scores! 11 seconds after Borlicki lights the lamp, Josh S. buries one. Buck squirts free, Borlicki steps in finally and now throws it towards the net and banked in by the Badger. And it was Max Zimmer who whacked it in. It's 3-1 Wisconsin. Well, they are one of the, uh, I guess, most explosive offensive teams in college hockey. It's 3-3 after two periods of play. Badgers have numbers to our left. Here's Holloway. He scores! Propelled by score three Badgers. 104 to play. The Wisconsin Badgers get a last minute goal from Dylan Holloway and upset ninth ranked Penn State. Here we go as the game is underway. The I was into my second year working at the State Journal as an agate clerk, so I'm taking sports cards over the phone and answering the phones. As the night went on, the phones kept ringing and ringing and ringing, and the intensity got greater as the night went along because the game was tape delayed. So people are watching it for the first time, and we on the desk had already known that the out, what the outcome was. So many people who were on the phone were torn because they wanted to know what the score was, they wanted to know what the outcome was, but we would ask them, are you sure you want to know? Are you sure you want to know what's going on? And uh, invariably most would, would change their mind and say, no, I'm going to watch it to the end, but some people just couldn't take it anymore and they had to know what the score was. 40 years later, most can still tell you exactly where they were when the U.S. beat the Russians in the 1980 Olympic Games. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! I was watching that game with my dad and his team and uh, maybe not the whole team, but a lot of us were sitting there, obviously a young kid, but uh, I remember that game like yesterday. I used to watch it eventually uh, as we move forward before every game that I ever played. I used to run that, that little loop of the ending of that game. It still gives you goosebumps. Yeah, I was at uh, Phelan Arena on the east side of St. Paul. I remember watching it on a tape delay um, in the arena. They had a bunch of TVs plugged in in black and white, and everyone was hovering around it and uh, I believe I had just finished a, a game playing and as we all came out, uh, everyone just glued to the TV. My parents had a, a TV which we thought was the big screen. It was probably only like 26 inches or whatever, 27 inches. And we were on their floor watching the game. It was a Friday night, uh, me and the rest of the kids. Obviously we knew the results, uh, but it was as exciting of a sporting event uh, that I've ever watched in my life. You know, we've heard many, many different stories about, you know, exactly what people were doing at that particular time uh, in life. And the excitement and the energy as they tell it to you is just, uh, it's priceless. So it's just this, you know, this friendship between two people, you know, they just are sitting there sharing stories and it's just fun. Badger great and current women's head coach Mark Johnson was the leading goal scorer for the 1980 gold medal winning team and has stories for days. I remember getting up Saturday morning and leaving the village and, and going to practice and uh, got to their practice arena. And uh, Herb Brook was, Brooks, our coach at the time, was uh, probably in the, uh, the grumpiest mood, uh, angry mood that we had seen him all year. And if uh, people had seen the movie Miracle, uh, they actually the movie makes him out to be a nice guy. Uh, so. We had probably one of our firmest practices that Saturday morning, and we as players couldn't understand why he was so grumpy. Herb Brooks did have his team ready to play Sunday as they beat Finland for the gold medal and inspired a nation, including a young kid that lived down the street from Mark Johnson named Rob Andringa. When he came back, uh, we went over. My dad said, hey, I'm going to go over to see the Johnson's Marks in town. Do you want to go with me? And as a 12-year-old, I was like, absolutely. And sure enough, I got in there and my mom has the picture of me standing there with the gold medal. Uh, for a 12-year-old kid in Madison, Wisconsin, that was pretty impressive. Johnson skating in the shot, but we can't be sore! Sometimes I took for granted that I had one of the greatest United States-born hockey players and, and families of hockey right next door to me. Mark Johnson, Bobby Suter were huge idols to me as a kid growing up. And we had an ice rink down on Flat Avenue, so there were numerous times that I would be a five, six, seven-year-old kid 
getting to play with Mark, and I was always somehow on his team. And he'll have another chance to step on the ice with Johnson, thanks to a little surprise. Hey. Oh my God. How's that? Are you kidding me? Is that cool or what? That is cool. Andringa, who won a championship in 1990 with the Badgers, has been battling cancer. And Johnson got him a spot at the Miracle on Ice fantasy camp this spring. Come on. Yep, all paid, all taken care of. When he gave me the fantasy camp information, said, hey, yeah, we're going to bring you out there, I, I was kind of shocked. You got to register. You got to be kidding so. me. As I started to slowly put it together, I realized that uh, I'm going to be out there with a number of other individuals uh, playing with people that I idolized and you know, held, still hold in high regard, not only as players, but as human beings. Mike Garazzelli won't stop oh you. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Mike. But I was shocked, still blown away, and I still pinch myself because I, I, uh, you know, that that was such a, a, a major point in my life of watching that game. And even though I was a young hockey player before, I was all in as a hockey player then. It just solidified that that's what I wanted to be was a hockey player.